Hi, this is question number three from the AQA Mechanics 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to pause the video and give the question a go yourself. Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm going to go over some, a hint as to how you can go about answering um, the, the various questions. So, um, we've got this diagram that shows us a velocity time graph for a train as it moves on a straight horizontal track for 50 seconds. And this is our graph here. For part A, we want to find the distance that the train moves in the first 28 seconds. So here's the first 28 seconds. And what feature of the graph is going to tell us um, the distance that it's moved in that time? Part B says calculate the total distance moved by the train during the 50 seconds. So we've traveled a part of the journey here and we've traveled um, a further distance here. Um, so what we want to know is the total distance that it's traveled during the 50 seconds and the word distance here is key. Part C says um, hence find the um, average speed of the train. Well, we should now know the total distance traveled by the train um, and we know how long it's taken for it to get there so we should be able to use that information to find the average speed of the train part d says find the displacement of the train so how far it was away from where it started um, when it has been moving for 50 seconds so its um, journey is going in one direction for the first 28 seconds and then it seems to be going, um, well because the velocity now is negative, it seems to be going back towards um, where it started again um, for the second part of the journey. So we should be able to use that to decide on what the displacement is going to be. Part E says hence calculate the average velocity of the train. So similarly to part C we were finding the average speed because we used the distance, the total distance travelled over the 50 seconds. For the velocity we're using the total displacement travelled, um, sorry the total displacement of the train um, after 50 seconds. Part F says find the acceleration of the train in the first 18 seconds of its motion. Now bearing in mind that the acceleration is the rate of change of the velocity what feature of the graph is going to tell us the acceleration? Okay, if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at answering these questions yourself. Okay, I'm now going to go over the solution to the question. I'm just going to um, make this a bit smaller to give myself a little bit more room to work in. Okay, um, starting with part A, uh, we are asked to find the distance that the train moves in the first 28 seconds. Well, the distance it's moved is given by the area um, under the graph here. Um, so this is a triangle. So the area is actually going to be, um, or the distance travelled, is going to be S is equal to, uh, and it's going to be half um, so half base times height, so half times 28 times 5. And that gives us um, 70 meters. Okay, uh, so that's part A. Part B says calculate the total distance moved by the train during the 50 seconds. Well, our total distance is going to be, um, well it's going to be the area um, of this part of the graph here um, and because we're just looking for the total distance move I would add on the area of this part of the graph here. It's going in a different direction here but the, the distance that it's travelled is still increasing so um, that's going to be 70 for our original um, distance plus 
the distance in the opposite direction which is going to be um, half of the base which is 22 times by the height which is 5 um, and that's going to be um, 70 plus and this here is uh, 55 which gives us 125 meters okay um, part C says hence calculate the average speed of the train well um, its average speed is going to be meters per second and it's traveled 125 meters over 50 seconds so the average speed going to be equal to 125 divided by 50 um, and that's going to be 102.5 meters per second okay um, and moving over here we we'll have a look at part D okay we want to know the displacement of the train from its initial position when it's been moving for 50 um, seconds. So we're looking for the displacement and um, well it's gone um, this bit here was 70 so it's gone 70 meters in one direction and then it's gone and we worked that out to be 55 meters so it's gone 55 meters in the opposite direction um, and that's in the negative direction so we need to take away 55 um, which means that it has travelled 15 um, sorry its displacement is 15 metres ok uh, part E um, it says hence calculate the average velocity of the train so that's going to be our um, displacement over the time taken which is 50 which is going to be 0 0.3 meters per second okay finally part F um, we want to know the acceleration of the train in the first 18 seconds of its motion and um, that's going to be the rate of change of the velocity where the velocity changed by 5 meters per second over 18 seconds so its rate of change um, or the acceleration is going to be um, 5 over 18 and that works out to be 0 0.278 meters per second per second okay there you go um, hopefully that was useful Thanks for joining me, um, take care and I'll see you again soon.